In JavaScript, we have a couple different collection data types. So the first thing is called an array, and the second is called an object, and that's in another video. But we're going to look at arrays here. And arrays allow us to sort of collect a whole bunch of pieces of information into one variable. So let's create a variable here. Let's call it uh, meat eaters. And it's going to be equal to an array. And the way we create an array is by putting two square brackets, open and close square brackets. And then inside those square brackets, we specify a bunch of different information. So normally with a variable, we only specify, we can only specify one string. But like with an array, we could do multiple strings like this. So T-Rex, um, Spinosaurus, um, what else? Veloc, if I can spell that, Velociraptor, etc. So now this variable here called meat eaters is actually a collection of three different things instead of just one. So it contains T-Rex, it contains Spinosaurus, and it contains Velociraptor. If I wanted to get one of those things out, I would just write meat eaters followed by square brackets, and in the square brackets, I would specify the number for the item that I want to get out. And the numbering system always starts at zero. So if I wanted T-Rex, I would type zero like that. Or if I wanted to get Velociraptor, that would be two, because this is zero, one, two. So that's how we get a thing out of our array. So let's look at... Uh, Previously, we've been using document.write to view our information, but maybe we could do a different thing here. This is console.log. Let's go meat eaters, square bracket one. So I'm going to go into my browser and refresh. You can see nothing is showing up, but console.log shows in our web developer tools, specifically on the console right here. And you can see here is the first item in our array. If I wanted to add a new item to the array, I could write meat eaters dot push, and that would add a new item onto the end of the array. So let's add on um, Allosaurus as a new item. So now our array actually has more items. It, it's T-Rex, then it's Spinosaurus, then it's Velociraptor. And if we want to see that, we can go console.log uh, meat eaters, and we'll see the whole array get spit out for us. So you can see all of them are here. So if we wanted to take something off the end of our array, if we did meat eaters dot pop, that would actually take the last thing off the array right here. So we took Allosaurus back off. We could do um, meat eaters dot shift, and that would actually take the first thing off the array. So we'll go like this. And you can see now T-Rex has been taken off the, far, the front. And lastly, we can do meat eaters, meat eaters dot unshift, and that's to add something new to the start of the array. Okay, we'll just do Pteranodon. 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 I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> Console.log, uh, meat eaters, oops. All right, so now unshift will add to the start of the array like this, and you can see now we've added to the start of the array. So our array now has three items in it. And the same things apply. If we wanted to get out a specific item out of our array, we would go meet eaters uh, square bracket two. That will get out the third item, which is Velociraptor. So we can have an array which contains bits of information. We get at them with their index, and we can add and remove items on the array. Now, because it's an array, we can also do other things to it. We could loop over it. So since this is an array, we can use a special loop called a for each loop. So we can type meat eaters dot for each like this, and then we specify a function. So this function will be called every time we go through the array. So inside of the this function here, we have to specify an argument called item. So it's going to loop through the array, and each time through the array, it will fill the variable item with one piece of the array. So whatever item is in the array. So let's go document.write item. So now I'll go refresh, and you can see, look, it's writing out Tranodon, Spinosaurus, and Velociraptor, because that's what our array was at that time. So let's actually make this into a list. I could go document.writeul, 
and then I'll close that at the end of my loop here. And then inside my document dot right here, I will put my allies. Now document dot write is not the ideal way to create HTML. There's many better ways, but it's a good way right now because it's all that we know. So if I go like this and refresh, you can see I've now looped over my list and I've created a, a list. I've looped over my array and created a list. So an array is just a collection of different things and we can add and remove things to it and we can loop over those things and collect the information and do things with the array content.